Hello, my beautiful people. How y'all doing? Me, at the moment, I'm bored. It's 2 6 in the morning, I'm bored. Smoking a doobie. y'all up to i know it's not late well it might i don't know what time i'm gonna go upload this i don't know i don't know if it's late or not where y'all at but what y'all up to whatever time it is y'all watching this what y'all up to what y'all doing yeah i've been slacking going through my little mood swings. <clears throat> I don't even want to talk about the mood swings, you feel me? I be trying to ignore. Is it ignore or ignore? It's what I say, so it's ignore. Yeah, I be trying to ignore a lot of shit. But sometimes it come back on me without even trying to think about it. Have you ever tried to, like, just push some shit to the side? And it's like, you're supposed to just, like, trash that shit, delete that shit, not push it to the side. When you push it to the side, your head keep doing this. <laughs> I don't know if I'm making no motherfucking sense right now, but, um, yeah, like, it just... Like, I'll call myself trashing some shit, deleting some shit. Mentally, it's not even physically. Low-key is physically, but it's more mentally, you feel me? And, Lord Jesus. Wow. So, um, I did that little subscription um, shit for private videos. I did it, y'all, but I don't know details. <laughs> to how I set it up, where the uh, to the point where y'all subscribe. Damn, I gotta go back into the YouTube studio. I'll be forgetting shit so fucking quick. But I found the cheapest um, price is ninety nine cent. Cause like videos like this right here. This could be used as private, and then it'll be, like, a little bit more detailed, you feel me? I won't be sitting up here trying to sugarcoat the shit. Out there. Inhale and exhale more often than normal. It works. It works. <laughs> Come on now, don't do that to me. I need a fucking blunt wrap. The journey again, your mind, right? That journey, bro. Again, the mind, right? And just so much in between all that. It's in between, but it's a coordination at the same time. You feel me? I've been slacking on my videos, y'all. I know. I'll be on the road and I'll just start slacking out of nowhere. Like, damn. <laughs> when you suffer mental disabilities,
you just you can't turn it on, you can't turn it off. That's real fucked up, right? It ain't no it ain't no switch. You try to control that shit to the best of your abilities. So nobody need to fuck with me like dead ass. Don't nobody need to try to fuck with me in no relationship, no friendship, no nothing. For real. Keep that shit strictly where it's at, my nigga. <laughs> like, <laughs> a bitch not in her right state of mind. Like, so she could be cool one day and she'll be salty the next. You ain't gotta do shit. You ain't even gotta say shit at this point. Like, for real. Once I feel some type of way, it ain't no reversing that shit. For real, for real. God do things for a reason. A lot of people don't understand certain reasons. They only can stay in their own reason. They only under I don't know what I just fucking said. But a lot of people understand a lot of shit with themselves and what they go through. They're not open minded enough to understand the next motherfucker and they whole ordeal. Because it's not them or they not or they haven't went through whatever. They don't understand it. I'm very open minded. Very open minded. Whether I've been there or not, I still understand. Just as a mature adult. You feel me? It's not it's not hard to understand people. A lot of people just block their mind. For what reason I don't know. I don't even try to figure it out. Real shit. I really, I really don't. I used to always try to like figure a motherfucker out, like why they acting funny or why a motherfucker acting a certain way, moving a certain way, or why is they mindset like that, or why would they wear that? <laughs> why would they not wear that? No, you know what I'm saying. Just like I used to really try to figure shit out for real, and now I just. It is what it is. I do not be caring. At all. Y'all, I'm looking at my goddamn curtain moving in the mirror. And that shit look the spooky. Yeah, I already had to figure that out. That goddamn little feather leaf print shit on that curtain look like a fucking face in that damn uh, mirror. I'm just like, the fuck? I'm looking at the whole mirror like. I mean, the way I figured it out. Um. Uh, Dude, this weed got me tweaking. I'm still not ready to put it out. Ready to roll up another one. The first one ain't even gone. Uh, yeah, y'all. Like, mm -hmm. like I'm good. Like, for real, for real, I'm good. My mental state is good. It's just the loneliness. <laughs> I'm, I'm, let me keep it real. Let me keep it straight, one hundred. Bitch, I'm lonely. <laughs> I just, <need some>, mm. <laughs> but I don't want it. You feel me? I feel like I need it. Because I'm used to getting what the fuck I want. But I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. You feel me? I don't need that attention. I don't need that energy. I don't need it. Like. But I feel like. Like for real. Like. Yeah. Y'all already know me. Nigga. We gonna come over here. We gonna talk about some food. We gonna talk about the niggas, cause I'm a female. Like we could talk about the females too. Like give me a topic or some shit, and we could talk about some females. Any man be watching me and get tired of me talking about niggas? Get tired of me talking about y'all, whatever. Or your homeboys, your cousin, your brother, your whatever. You getting tired of me talking about them? Like let's talk about the bitches. <laughs> Look, I'm a bitch. I'm a female. I'm a woman. I'm all the above. You feel? So we could we could go there. You will be surprised how real and legit I am. 
I'm not about to sugarcoat shit just because I'm a female. Real talk. Just like the, I, just, well, I don't even want to go there, but just like the little domestic violence shit, I feel if a woman don't want a man putting his hands on her, she should never put her hands on a man because a man will not hit a woman, and that's a good thing. But the bad thing of that is, is getting abused as a man. You feel me? And a lot of men try to walk away from a situation. They deal with an abusive female and try to walk away. And they can't even walk away. Because that bitch want to keep following him. Or keep taunting him. Like, oh, where you going? Oh, you want to leave now? <sighs> Females are very difficult. I understand that shit. And that's why I try to be the best bitch I could be when I'm in a relationship. Fuck with somebody or just talking or whatever the case may be. When I'm in physical contact or mental contact with the opposite sex, you feel me? Like, if I don't want that, I don't want to give you that either. You feel me? Like, it just is what it is. But I have seen it. And we know. Don't play dumb. And the man can will try to, unless that's just a wild motherfucking zoo monkey and he can't control it or tame it. Yeah, you could try to pin the bitch down to keep her from doing whatever. But at one point, you have to let go. You feel me? Then hold the bitch down too long. Then the motherfucker been getting been got in trouble about some shit. Just <sighs> females have advantage over men and they use it to their authority. And I be feeling so bad for men. I really do. That's why when I try to do whatever I do, I try to be the best that I can. And that's real talk. Real talk. But um, I'm not going to be the best that I can to a motherfucker that ain't doing me right. Don't get it twisted. You got to do me for me to do you. <laughs> Treat me like a motherfucking queen. You feel me? Treat me how you feel a woman's supposed to be treated. If you had a daughter or have a daughter and one day she would be married or one day she's dating or whatever the case may be and how you would want a fucking dude to treat your daughter, you don't got to treat me like that. You feel me? That's, that's for a little, that sound a little dumb, a little off of me. But I'm just saying, like, don't be out here doing some shit to a female that you won't want done to your daughter, your sister, your mama. Real talk. Women are vulnerable and sensitive. Men are too. You feel me? Although they like to make it seem like they tough all the motherfucking time. Where the whole world believe a man's supposed to just be tough. Like he ain't supposed to cry. He ain't supposed to have no feelings type shit. Or he called sweet or zesty or whatever the fuck. <clears throat> I'm just talking. Uh, I'm talking because I'm bored. But if you feel me, you feel me. I'm speaking some real shit. I'm just speaking some real shit. Because if I had a son, I ain't had no son, but I had two brothers. I ain't gonna lie to them. I ain't gonna lie. See, I was able to be there. Well, my second brother, he ain't never gone to shit with no female where he needed my backup. But me and my um, first brother, uh, we did a lot of shit as kids. So, female fuck with him. Yeah, he had backup. I'm, I'm coming. I'm on the way. But at the same time, I told my brother, if I ain't there, you better fuck that bitch up. If she put hands on you, nigga, hit her ass back. And if she think, uh, oh, that was a pussy ass hit and she still coming for you, hit her ass even harder. And if she keep coming, just drill her ass up. Like, because ain't no female about to do my brothers. If I had a son, I wouldn't want no uh, female to do my son. You feel me? <laughs> Females kill guys, too. Like, if the bitch kill you, I want to know my son went out with a banger. Like, he tried to fucking take that bitch head off before she did what she did. Shit, teach our motherfucking daughters not to put their hands on no nigga. Real talk, that's how I feel. Shit, a girl shouldn't even want to... I mean, just think about it. You shouldn't want to put your hands on the guy. Talk your shit. Walk away. Disappear. Shit, what I do, I, I write that shit online. Swear to God. I'll be subliminal like a motherfucker. I don't care. I'm going to wait till that nigga get far away from me. <laughs> and I'm going to talk my shit. Twitter fingers. Yes, I am. Yep. I'll be talking shit. Show do. I'll be subliminal because I don't want motherfuckers to really know the truth. 
But nigga, you know, <laughs> as long as you know and I know, then boom. Period. Uh, nah, ain't nobody got time for trying to fight no nigga. What the fuck? The fuck? I ain't never been her. Anyway, I'm just saying though, don't be out there just putting your hands on no fucking female though. <laughs> for real, don't don't be don't be that nigga. And don't be a provoker either, because some niggas, because females, I mean, you got a temper, and female got a temper, too. You be saying the wrong shit, or you just constantly talking, because I had that in a situation, I ain't gonna lie. I came a long way. We didn't fight, though. I'll probably do one or two, and he'll do a pin down, like, really grip my fucking orange, make that shit hurt. I'm done, you feel me? But I'm about to talk my shit, though. But I came a long fucking way, so I feel like I could, I could speak. I've been there, so I could speak. I ain't never been in domestic violence. But I seen it a lot. My mama and my daddy was, um, what's that shit? I used to see that shit. Like, my daddy died when I, well, got killed when I was six. But I remember the shit him and my mama did. I got, I got very good memory. I could tell some shit. <laughs> I showed King. But, um, I'm not about to. I'm about to go there. But I could tell some stories. Shit, motherfucker wouldn't want me talking. I started talking. Motherfucker be like, damn, bitch. You remember that shit? You know that? Motherfucker probably forget that shit they damn so. Like, I try not to dwell on the past, though. <laughs> I don't dwell on the past, but I do got good motherfucking memory, like I said. But, um, I'm gonna just let this play. I would, I'm like, I have been, I'm looking like them. 16 minutes, I just ran. Blah, 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 but shit. I'm gonna leave my little shit. I ain't editing nothing. But what's the edit? Shit. Shit, I remember one time my daddy was asleep. I don't give a fuck. My mom went in there and she had a big ass pot of water boiling it. I'm thinking she about to make some spaghetti. I wake up and I'm like, Mama, you about to make spaghetti? She was like, go to sleep. I ain't about to cook nothing. I was looking at her face like, fuck wrong with her. <laughs> I'm probably about like shit. Four, five, something like that. I don't know. And I see this motherfucker get the pot of water. And she come out the kitchen to the living room, getting ready to go to the door to the bedroom. Shit. I start yelling. I'm on top of the couch yelling, Daddy, Daddy. I told my daddy, wake his ass up. He got up. He come out the room. And right when he come to the door, I'm like, my mama boiled some water. So I don't know what the fuck I said exactly, but I said something. I don't know if it's from what he heard me say or if he see her ass with the, standing in front of him with a pot. But she went to dunk the water and he jumped back. I don't know if the water touched him or not. But yeah. My mom went in there and boiled some water for that nigga. Like, girl, what you doing? I understand, but damn. Just leave his ass. I didn't uh, understand that at that time, though. And, of course, I, I wouldn't want that. <laughs> but, um, yeah, my daddy beat her ass, too. I just seen it. And then couples. You can't get in a couple bullshit, though, because the motherfuckers were fighting and going to the room and being there doing, doing the do. Like, how that work? <laughs> I don't even want to find out, but I don't feel like that work. You bust me upside my head, slapping me and shit, and... The fuck? Don't touch me. <laughs> don't put your motherfucking hands on me, nigga. The fuck? No, I ain't never been a provoker. And if I had a a, a, a a man with a temper, I know when to shut the fuck up. I don't give a fuck. I ain't never been hurt. I'm pussy. I'm not a fighter. No one wants no man. I'm not no motherfucking fighter. I defend myself if I have to. But if I could prevent that shit, that's what the fuck I'm going to do. Yeah, 40 years old, ain't never been in jail, ain't never been in a domestic violence situation. Really ain't been in too, too many altercations since I've been grown. As an adult, I think I probably got into it somebody. I can't, all I need is one hand. All I need is one motherfucking hand. Let's put it like that. And that's good. That's something to brag the fuck about. Motherfuckers be out here bragging about how they beat a bitch ass and all this thing. Mm-mm. I'm God's child. And that's God's child, too. Why would I want to beat God's child's ass? 
<laughs> I'm ignorant, I know. But I'm just saying, that ain't me. I ain't with the bullshit. I ain't gonna lie. I came a long way. I came a long way. Because when I was younger, I get to a motherfucker. I be trying to fight quick, real quick. Somebody had the wrong number one time. And I don't know how the fuck me and the fucking female got into it. A female called me and she had the wrong number. And mama, ouch. And my motherfucking head, oh, this one bitch, my nigga fucking with. And she ain't got a hold to the number. Or whatever the fuck. He ain't called this bitch off my number. Something. But, um, this bitch didn't know who the fuck he was. I don't know. Me and her going at it. I'm cussing this bitch out. I'm giving up my whole address. <laughs> my kid's father, like, the fuck you doing? He get the phone. He talking to the bitch, whatever, whatever. He, um, sees the situation. I didn't give a fuck. I was ready and prepared. Going to the door. Waiting, like, opening the door. Like, is she coming? <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> They're like, girl, nobody gonna come to no motherfucking projects trying to fight you. I'm like, I ain't even from the projects. You're like, she don't fucking know that. I'm like, well, bitch wanted to wolf all that shit on the phone. I calmed down. Thank God God didn't have to teach me no big lesson for me to calm down. I had kids. I ain't gonna lie, I had kids. My kid's father, he, he had deep conversations with me. Like... You can't whoop everybody motherfucking ass just because you don't like what they say type shit. <sighs> he like, you got kids. You a mama now. Like, what the fuck? You gonna have somebody come. They can have a motherfucking gun. You got a gun? I'm like, yo, no, but I'll beat that bitch. How you gonna beat a bitch ass if she got a gun? I'm like, that's a scary ass bitch if she gotta have a gun. <laughs> but shit, yeah. That nigga started sitting my ass down watching all kind of crime shows and uh, ways how people die, uh, people torture people, and just all type of shit. And I'm just like, I start loving life. I start loving life. I start loving people. I start understanding people. Like, my mind just opened up, like, for real. Real talk. I'm not even gonna say what's going on right now, but I almost just slipped and said something. But uh, she, yeah, she lucky I'm recording. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm gonna show say it later though. But yeah, thank God for my baby daddy. <laughs> my baby daddy, uh, he taught me shit. He sure did. I give him that. It's like he gone, and it's like yeah, you want to say some shit now? He go? No, he knew that. I told him that. So I can say it out loud too. <laughs> sure did. When well, me and my baby father uh split up after being together for eighteen years, we sat there and had deep conversation. No lie. Deep ass conversation. Cried like a motherfucker, the both. Talk shit like a motherfucker, like big dogs. Both we both was Aries. So yeah. But he was a little bit more sensitive than me. Aries guys are more sensitive than the Aries female. But, um... Bruh, we had a deep-ass conversation. Every time I used to get mad, though, I always had a conversation. I always talked it out. And I would get mad, though, because it's like... I don't like for a person to talk to me with a certain tone, though. I kind of like that shit, though. <laughs> Low key. I ain't gonna lie. I kind of like that shit. You talk to me in a certain tone. Like, you can talk to me like that, daddy. But no, like, <laughs> if we on some real shit, though, or are we trying to really discuss some shit, or it's like an argument or something, don't use a certain tone with me. Like, because that shit go really make me hot. Like, I really got a temper. I will get, nigga. I'll start screaming. I'll be ready. I'll be ready. I'll be ready to fight. I'm not gonna lie. I'll be have to sit there and really chill. Like I will start crying, and I'll be crying because my feelings be hurt because of what I really want to do for real. What I be really wanting to do, <laughs> and I just be looking at the motherfucker. They really thinking like I'm hurt type shit. It's like I am, but not that hurt you think it is though, bro. Just shut the fuck up. <laughs> Please, because I'm about to get fucked up because I'm about to try to fuck you up. Like, <laughs> but mine don't matter. I don't, 
I ain't never did it. <laughs> I ain't never did it. Well, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna say I ain't never did it. Yeah. 18 years, and I'm gonna say I ain't never shit. <clears throat> but that's, that's the whole thing now. After a woman or a guy then being in a long-term relationship, they found a lot of shit out about themselves, and they found a lot of shit about the opposite sex that they're dealing with. You learn a lot. You got to be a, a immature motherfucker that don't grow. Don't learn, don't grow. To repeat the same steps that you done repeated already. You feel me? Like, shit I went through in that relationship, it, it grew me so much into a woman that I'm not doing little girl moves. And it will fuck me up to get called a little girl when I know I ain't on a little girl shit. I'm just being misunderstood. Because I'm soft. But. Y'all, I tell y'all. Real talk. After being in a long term relationship. You, you just learn shit. And you move different. And if a motherfucker don't understand that, you just keep moving. It's like. For me to have this mentality and not accepting anything, or whatever the case may be, I guess it's meant for that. God built me like that. <laughs> That's why. How long have I been single? Um, since my separation. Shit, we ha we have been separated five years. Damn near six years. So I've been single like six years. Yep. Anything after that being situationships. <laughs> it was in relationships. Nope. Not one relationship after that. Like the 18 years I talked to I was I was loyal I was more loyal than what the motherfucker thought I was and I was there for him too I might have talked to people but I never went outside of my relationship until I said I was I never did nothing he didn't know I did I let him knew everything. He knew everything. A motherfucker thought he didn't know. He knew. He just didn't like whatever the fuck was going on, but he knew. Anybody after that? Shit. Yeah, no shit for real. Because I'm closed up now. I don't want to be open to nobody. And then it's like... Because I realize you can be open up to... You can open to somebody and that shit make you vulnerable. It make you vulnerable because it's like people get to know you and pay attention to you and try to play off of that. But they not really giving you them type shit. So, yeah. I know how to still be genuinely, genuine to the point, like, if it is something you feel me like if it is a situation where it's like okay it's cool whatever whatever i can let my bar down a little bit you feel me okay cool but majority of the time it don't just jump off like that and before it can even get to that let me let my guards down some it don't never happen because by then motherfuckers and show they true colors Real talk. I'm about to find my board and have something to do because I'll sit here. This is 30 minutes. I've been to sit here and try to do a damn two hour damn video just talking. One thing about me when I start talking, I could talk my ass off. I don't do too much talking though. But I used to shit. I used to. 
But it, I used to run off at the mall and because I don't care about shit. I don't hide shit. I don't, I don't care. But people are so weird now. People are so weird. People are not the same anymore. Well, I'm not getting grown. I got to deal with people like this. Like, what? <laughs> I want the people that I seen when I was a kid. Like, like they wouldn't all the way there like that but they went all the way here like this <laughs> for real for real oh, i'm bored it's friday well, it's saturday now um i don't know nobody more for the call all oh, guys, these fucking girls that get so my nerves. <sighs> We're just about to get kicked out because I'm about to finish listening to my music. I'm about to start doing some other platforms where I could um, go live and be able to do certain shit. I don't know. If, I know people be always live and shit. I don't know. I feel like I'm too old for all that. <laughs> I'm full of shit. It be all kind of people that be live. But I don't know. I'm more like the type of female, like, for real. I just like to be hugged up, cuddled up. You know what I'm saying? Do what I got to do in the daytime type shit, okay. But at night when I'm laying down, I want to be booed the fuck up. If you're not laying beside me, at least let me text you if you at work or something. or You know what I'm saying? Something. Damn. <laughs> Something. <laughs> No, I'm good. I'm going to see how long I stay single, though. I'm gonna, I really want to see how long I stay single. Well, <laughs> I've been single long enough. But I'm going to stay celibate. I'm going to stay celibate. For real. I ain't pursuing nobody. And I ain't catching on to nobody that's trying to pursue me. People always trying to flirt, though. I flirt back, but that's all the fuck that is, for real. Mm-mm. Because first off, I don't even know where to date, y'all. I, I don't go nowhere. So I ain't no nigga gonna see me at the grocery store or the uh, laundromat or motherfucking some shopping store or something. Um... Uh, <laughs> clubs is out and been out for me I don't see the point of clubs just going to the club to go sit down or to dance and somebody see you know motherfuckers watching you dance you feeling the music you drinking I don't know I don't see I know some people go out with friends and whatever fuck I don't know I ain't, I ain't, I ain't never been to it I've been there done that And I didn't really like it. I didn't been to casinos. I didn't been to clubs, house parties, people house, just chilling. That shit ain't no fun. That ain't. That ain't what the fuck I don't, I'm on. So yeah. It came on too. <sighs> Thank you. And um. Yeah, and then online like. YouTube, anybody trying to talk to my ugly ass. Instagram, shit, I'm dread. Everybody on Instagram and tried to holler and not ignore that shit. And the ones I did try with or played around, flirting or whatever the fuck, I ain't, I ain't talked to one person off of Instagram. Or two. It be too. It be too. Ew. 
But um, that was fun or whatever. That was fun. I can't say nothing about that. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> um, TikTok never. Mm -mm. How you date on TikTok? <laughs> what people be dating on TikTok? <laughs> they be. I mean, it's not funny, but it is funny. Looking for love on TikTok. Huh? How that work? I don't know. This is why I'm going to be solo. I'm going to be celibate for life. Unless I backtrack on somebody I have been with already. <laughs> because what? Oh my God. How is this supposed to happen for me? I'm not looking to really even care. Maybe when I care, I'll start going out or something. But I don't even care for real, for real. But I'm just like, damn. And then I'm not trying to rush. You know, you got to go out there. You got to take your time about it. You got to find somebody that looks like something that's attracted to you. You attracted to them. Well, you attracted to them. And they I said that shit wrong. Anyway, I picked up on that. V reverse, vice versa. So, you attracted to them. They attracted to you. And you got to get along. It's a whole process. Like, <sighs> that's just a headache. It's a process to get to where I want to get to. I don't got time for all that. I don't got time to rush it. I don't got time to take my time. <laughs> Hello, how you doing? I said I was supposed to get off here like 15 minutes ago. I was like six minutes ago. I could, ooh, not my blunt. I mean, my. Mm, mm. That's why I rolled with two papers, because the, the way it should be burning. So one paper kind of caught on fire, but the second one didn't. Because <laughs> it make it hard to hit that motherfucker. Anybody that's smoking know what I'm talking about. If y'all was keeping up with me and y'all last this long, go ahead and drop a butterfly. Drop some yellow hearts. Something. But I'm about to get off here, y'all. I ain't been on here long enough. I kind of look cute. I had to dye my hair. Not my, mm. not my hair. Y'all know I didn't dye my hair, but yeah. I ain't, I ain't never had this color in my head before. And I ain't never dyed a wig or weave or none of that shit. I'd literally do black or like a, probably do like a brownish color or something. I don't know. It's nothing like this. So this some a little unique. I like it though. It's cool. I got to do this more often. Start using um, colors and well, start dyeing it. I like to dye better than the colors they have. So this was a highlighted wig. Half wig. This wig done been through some things. I told y'all, I don't be spending money on here like that. Shit. I be making shit work. Rearrange, do some other shit. I don't care to look like a damn professional head. As long as it look cool to me. I'm about to get off here, y'all. <laughs> Until next time. Peace. Love. And don't forget the what? Don't forget the what? Don't forget the smile. Don't forget the smile, baby. <laughs> oh, it's lost that What the fuck they want? <laughs>